In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain, the smallest one was Madeline. If you believe you must be big in order to be tough, then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. And nobody knew quite so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. Like on the day she slipped and fell. Poor Madeline would now be dead, but for a dog that kept its head and dragged her safe from a watery grave. Boy, Madeline, you must rest now. Come, Madeline, my petite. We will go home now. Dr. Cohn says you need your rest. Wait! Where is the dog who saved my life? I must thank her. Here, wonderful dog, come here. Madeline, I am sure that dog belongs to someone. <laughs> See, Miss Clavel? She likes you and she has no collar. This dog is a hero. She must come home with us. Oh, yes, she is we cannot just abandon her. We will keep her. But only until we find her owner. <laughs> Back at home, the dog chewed a bone that was savory, and the little girls gave her a ribbon for bravery. From now on, I hope you will listen to me. And here is a cup of chamomile tea. Come, little doggy, I will show you your new home. <laughs> this old house is where we live. This old house is where we play. This old house is where we laugh. And this old house is where you'll stay. <laughs> this old room is where we eat. This is where we break up. And here's 
home of Miss Young Mouse. He scurries in and out at night. Peace of Yelp has ladybugs. Peace of Yelp has trees to climb. Peace of Yelp has secret paths. And here is where we tell the time. Peace of House is where we live. Peace of House is where we play. Now, Madeline, you know the rules. Lord Cuckoo Face says, do not put your feet on the furniture. She wants to know who is Lord Cuckoo Face. Oh, she does, does she? Bon, ma petite chienne. <laughs> Lord Cuckoo Face is the president of the board of trustees, and he makes the rules around here. <laughs> Then the girls sat down and broke their bread. We love our bread. We love our butter. But most of all, we love each other. And brushed their teeth. And went to bed. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel turned out the light. After she left, there was a fight about where the dog should sleep that night. The doggy will sleep with me tonight. Oh no, with me. No, no, with me. Excusez-moi, mes amis, but since this doggy saved my life, I think she should sleep with me. Says who? The girls were most willing to care for their pet. They brushed her, they pampered, they cuddled, and yet... She has no name. What shall we name her? I do not know. I am in charge of her delicious food. Oui, oui, and I will bring her fresh water. You name her, Madeline. Very well. What do you want to be called, ma petite chienne? Look! It begins with a G. Could it be Giselle? Hmm. Let me guess. Is it Genevieve? The new pupil was ever so helpful and clever. All right, girls. How much is nine minus six? Chloe? Two. Excellent! What a clever new pupil! Now, what is the capital of Spain? Barcelona? No, no, little girls. Oui! Regardez! She is spelling Madrid. Madrid is the capital of Spain. Remarkable! Not only a hero, but so well educated and polite, too. She could sing and almost talk. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. <laughs> And she enjoyed the daily walk. When the first of May came near, there was nervousness each year. 
for on that day there arrived a collection of trustees for the annual inspection. The inspection was most thorough, much to everybody's sorrow. <laughs> Whatever can that be? Come out and let me see. Dear me, it's a dog. Isn't there a rule that says dogs are not allowed in school? Miss Clavel, get rid of it, please, said the president of the board of trustees. <sighs> yes, but the children love her so. Please do not make her go. We tried to find her owner, but it turned out she was a stray. I dare say, said Lord Cuckoo Face. I mean, it's a perfect disgrace for young ladies to embrace this creature of uncertain race. <coughs> Off with you. Go on, run, scat. <coughs> go away and don't come back, <coughs> Maurice. Take this mangy beast for a long drive in the countryside. Little girls, it's no use moping about. Let us get dressed and go right out. The sooner we're ready, the sooner we'll leave. The sooner we'll find Miss Genevieve. I will never stop looking until I found her. They went looking high. Have you seen our dog? And low. every place a dog might go. In every place they called her name. But no one answered to the same. They even visited the pound, but Genevieve could not be found. Hours after they had started, they left to go back home broken-hearted. Oh, Miss Clavel, I am too tired to walk home. Me too. Me too. I will call a taxi. Taxi? Taxi? Have you seen our dog? Have you seen our dog? She has four blades and she is brown. She might be in this part of town. Whatever Another 
Their dog likes Genevieve. <laughs> they went home and broke their bread. brushed their teeth and went to bed. Poor little Madeline could not sleep. All that she could do was weep. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right. Something is not right. Something is quite wrong. Something is not right. And so I sing this song. At night it should be calm. It should be still, but I heard something stir, and it's given me a chill. Something is not right. Something is quite wrong. Something is not right. And so I sing this song. Who is there? There, in the light of the open door, was Genevieve. She was lost no more. The girls cooked Genevieve a wonderful meal, the smell of which made their favorite dog squeal. <coughs> extra biscuits and extra beef, only the best for dear Genevieve. She was petted, she was fed, and everybody went back to bed. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Miss Clavel turned out the light, and again there was a fight. Each little girl cried. Genevieve is mine tonight! <laughs> For the second time that night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, she ran fast and even faster. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one more fight about Genevieve, I'm sorry, but she'll have to leave. That was the end of the riot. Suddenly, all was quiet. Bon, Genevieve, you will sleep here. For the third time that night, Miss Clavel turned on the light. Genevieve? Genevieve? Where are you? Miss Clavel! Miss Clavel, hurry! Hurry, come with me! <laughs> And to their surprise, they found that suddenly there was enough hound. <laughs> to go around. Several weeks later, at the front door, 
who should appear but their least favorite landlord. I can smell that airy beast from miles away. You have disobeyed my direct orders. <laughs> I have a feeling there is a furry creature in there. <gasps> Ouch! <laughs> ah, sound somewhere near. Aha! Just what I suspected, but twelve times worse. Shoo! Get lost, all of you! I read somewhere that these are supposed to be man's best friend. Perhaps it would be good for someone of my uh, position to have such a friend. Oui, oui, Lord Cuckoo Face, absolutely. I will take him home, Miss Clavel. Uh, N'est-ce pas? It is up to Genevieve. What did she say? Genevieve says you may take the puppy home if you treat him with kindness. And if she and the other puppies may live here. Why, yes, I will. They can, of course. He picked up the pup and headed for the door. Kindness, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. That's all there is. There isn't any more. <laughs>